Oh, now we're live. See, it says live? the broadcast is live. There we go. I guess it's time to spark one of them up. How y'all doing? So, uh, oh, nice. Oh, let me put on there. Oh, I got to turn so, the comments on. Here we go. So, so wait. So, so this is a special broadcast right now live. Where are we live at? Explain to me, Dustin. Uh, well, we we should be live on the uh, Magic Ninja Entertainment Facebook. I can't hear Dustin for some reason. He didn't you can't hear Dustin. You can't hear me. You can you can. This is on the YouTube. This is on the any. This is on all of our platforms right now. Not on Twitter. It's on the YouTube. Okay. It's on the Facebook. Yeah. The MNEs. The Genities. Yeah. Hell the yeah. Now but, now yeah. now I know that just not even like. An hour ago, you were chopping it up with James on the riff. Yeah. How was that? Was that fun? It's a new platform for them over there. Yeah. I, I told them about um, StreamYard, like what we're using, because they, for could, sure. that's why you, they could only have one of us. On I know. I know. Now. And I was like, you do that and you can talk to everybody. You can talk to all the Slipknot guys or whatever the fuck you want to do. Right. Right. You can talk to a whole entire fucking band, you know, like, goddamn. But it was cool. It was it was good. It wasn't like one of those things where it was like, okay, is this a, is this done? More was weird here? and uncomfortable. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, but, I kind of I kind of figured that James would would make it comfortable because pretty much you know he got that vibe about him. So and and, and he's you know he's a juggler homie. So that's all good. I'm, I'm with that. Real in tune. All right, so, what's so, going on with us? Real in tune. Fair enough. That's what's up. All right, well, well, uh, it's a new day in the new world. We're here now. Uh, we got we got Manox Boogie, Jamie Madrox, and obviously Big Ben Dustin in the middle. Um, Dustin's microphone is still not on. You might. They're saying, on. they're saying they Go can hear me in the chat. Back on. Can you hear him, Jamie? I can hear him. I can hear him. He's a little muffly, but I can hear him. I can't hear him at all. Let me try to let me try to leave and come back. Hold on. I'm trying to read his lips. He oh, said, "I'm trying to read his lips." lips. It shouldn't have to be that complicated. You shouldn't have to read his lips. I'm like, hey, how are you? If I have to go get a headphone or something, I will. Fair enough. I you, I seen last time you had that uh like the earpiece in it and it helps out because like a lot of the you have an iPhone. So a lot of I've been noticing a lot of the iPhones, people wear the the AirPods in the uh ears because it you can hear, can you hear me. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Now, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. So I was told that you guys had, or actually that 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 the green kid had some fun, and uh, and and we could all uh, share along in a special. I guess what what is this like an impromptu just special? Yeah. It's yeah, for, for lack of a better term for it, yeah. Uh, impromptu, we wanted to go live and uh, just, uh, I mean, I, I actually, me and George had Throw a- Throw out uh, some entertainment, right? An idea, yeah. We had an idea to uh, do sort of a guessing game of such uh, to see- That's fresh. How There's not well enough entertainment going on. No, I feel it. I feel it. You have no reason to explain. I just wanted to try to give everybody just a little premise of why all of a sudden that like- uh, on a what? What is today? A Tuesday? It's a random Tuesday? A random ass Tuesday? Boom! Here we go, and we're gonna have some fun. Okay, so right. um, yes, <laughs> yeah. doobies unite, my friend. Damn it! I got mine's covered in paint. I got a beat up, blue out. Look at that, painted up ass doobie. I can't even find it. Look at it. Oh, it is painted. It you is. Go ahead, painted. smoke that one off to your shelf. Painted Boy. your goddamn <laughs> doobie. Jesus, right. Christmas. Painted as fucking <laughs> Do you guys have uh, some uh, writing utensil in the paper here? Uh-huh. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask one of you a question about the other one. And I want you to both write down your answers. Okay. And see how well, see how well the demented duo knows each other, huh? Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, now these <laughs> all my questions are essentially tour related questions when we're on the road because that's where we spend most of our time together. Okay. <laughs> okay. So my first this my first question goes to Mr. Monoxide. Uh oh. And I'm supposed to write the answer too. You're yes. supposed to write down your what answer. What I think to he's gonna say. If he knows what that <laughs> answer is going to be. Just to be just to clarify, I need to write down what monoxide's gonna answer. 
You need to write down what Jamie would answer. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. Go, go, go. Now I'm with it. I'm with it. Okay. When riding on the bus, Mr. Monoxide, what is Jamie Madrox's biggest pet peeve? There are many ways that this could go, but for the knowledge and, and years that you have spent together, um, I'd say that there's there's only really like two choices, three choices that would really solidify. Here we go. Yes, riding on the bus is his biggest pet peeve. He doesn't want to be riding on the fucking bus. Damn it. <laughs> I had, hold on, I had, where is it at? Shoes in the hallway. See, that's another one, though. Or, or, he tripped there's over. usually no, there's usually no, no piss mask. Ah. In the bathroom. No and, and you got crew guys, they're walking in there and their socks, they got pissy socks, they're trailing it back. Stopping it up. Punk. You see God, little red mess, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Just man. Stop. Jesus Christ. All now, right, go ahead. Now, now, now. Th this one's going to be for you. <laughs> and, and I thought about this question, and I thought about the ways it could go, because he <laughs> <laughs> it's happened with that face now. Because it could go many ways. Um, um, shit. Now, you know... You know, Jamie, that we are avid cookers on the bus. We cook, we, uh -huh. do, we do all kinds of things. What is your brother Monoxide's <laughs> favorite thing to make on the bus? Favorite food to make? Oh God! All right. On the bus. Now again, could go a couple of ways. Okay. I think I know the answer. Got it. <laughs> what? Okay. Do I show it now? Yeah, let's see it. Yeah. Bean dogs! <laughs> what is it? Bean dogs! I knew it was bean dogs. Fuck yeah. Knew it. Knew it. That's a point. Had that to is be. a point. That's now, awesome. This one, this yeah, one, are you keeping track of points, too? I Well, in my head. It's not like uh, a, I don't have a prize head. for I'm you. I'm destined to lose this battle. I don't in have my, a I'm prize for you. I, I can't send you anywhere. Jamie, I'm not fine, fine. Go ahead, go ahead. today's game, you win nothing. Okay. Hey, a pre-worn so black and white M&E hat. There you go. See, there you go. Ah, that'll work. Yes. All right. Now, whose question? Um. Here, Here's an easy one. Here's an right. easy one, and it's going to be for both of you, and I think you're both going to get it wrong and right at wow. the same time. Now, <laughs> according to the other one, okay, who paints up faster? <sighs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah, well, it's yeah. right. It's right. Fast facts. I don't know how. Points all around. Point for, like, Cole, point for Jamie, but Jamie also loses a point for painting up slow. <laughs> no, well, hey, hold on. I was yeah. just saying, I don't know how he does it, but he has this like Clark Kent ability. Like he walks in the bathroom and he walks out and he's fully painted, and you're like, wait a minute. It takes me longer to piss. Wait, I, what the fuck Bonus did you point. just do? <laughs> he's like, hey, it's Bonus point. It's done. What is the fastest he has ever painted up? Uh, literally, probably, and I'm probably churching this up because it's more probably like seven and a half minutes, but I'll say five minutes on I the way, on the way to something. the quickest I've ever done it, like six I, and a half minutes. Yeah, some, I think it was like, like six that. and like, a half. It was like on the way to somewhere important and, and we had both, <laughs> we had both like got no sleep the night before. And and instead of like getting a full three hours of sleep, I got like an hour sleep and I woke up and painted up and he's like, fuck that. And we're sitting and we're like, it's only a 10 minute drive. He's like, got this. And it was just on. We were like, he could literally slap his face with paint. And it's like, oh, it's we're like, no, the man's a goddamn professional. Is what I don't he know is how he does it Literally, it was like, watch this. It was like, five, four, three, two, right. done, done. Right. Don't I like shit. to do what I can do when I can do it. Hey, man, I ain't even mad at you, dog. That shit was fucking amazing. I'm still blown away by that. Like, hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. We, we do it two different ways. You do it with a pencil, basically. I do it with I a do. paintbrush. 
He used, yeah. Well, you 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 got those those TV sticks, and them motherfuckers are crazy. Like like that shit. It's a it, it's all what crazily enough. Now, sidebar, crazily <laughs> crazily enough, it's Sad made by the same company. Yet yet there's something with the texture as opposed to the TV sticks as opposed yeah. to the, sti the stick sticks. Yeah, because you don't even it's use like, the TVs no more. No. Like, like when I wear the TV sticks, literally, like, like there's some kind of oil in it that like reacts bad to my skin and it stains my clothes. It falls off on of my face where like the pencils, I could go it's like do some swimming shit and come out just be yeah. like, Bing! like for real, I man. That tub. If, if, it's, yeah. if it's like you got four minutes, you give me a mm -hmm. fucking TV stick. Oh, I can hell yeah. Time. You're like, done. Peanut butter done. jar. That, yeah. <laughs> So good, so very good. Holy I shit! That, I think that was my third. Okay, that was your. See, I'm gonna start keeping fucking track over here. Okay. I'm, I'm just okay. <laughs> he said, I was gonna "This is gonna. Talking. This is gonna be a two parter. We're gonna answer it about Paul first, and then we're gonna answer it about Jamie." Okay. So, Jamie, what is the first thing Paul does when he gets off stage? Uh, I mean, yes, <laughs> yes, and that was it. That could have been a trick question, too, just in case you couldn't see it. <laughs> that could have been a trick question. Now, Paul, what is the first thing Jamie does when he gets off stage? It can differ though, but, but it can differ. There is a there's a two parter for that too. There is a two parter for that one. <laughs> there it is. I drink. was gonna put drinks. Say... Sometimes I smoke. Usually I smoke. I smoke with him, and there's other shit too. Usually well, you, I take my paint off. Could have played. Drink could have played. No, hey, listen. Towel or cigarette. It could have been. Towel. It, it could have been. It could have been. Take my makeup off too, because sometimes, usually, right after a show, that's the first thing I do, mm -hmm. and it'll be like hours later, and he'll still have his paint on, and you're like, "You, dude, that's it's like true. four o'clock in the morning. What the fuck are you doing?" Well, oh, I just ain't got around to it yet. I'm like, "This motherfucker's high." <laughs> he just don't the even, original. He's like, "I ain't got around to it yet." I'm like, what the fuck is going on? The original so, yeah. way so I worded been a lot the, of different answers. The original way I worded the question was, "What was the first thing Twisted does post show?" And then that. That case it would have been smokes it yeah. would have been it would have been smoke, up, roll it up, smoke a doobie yeah. then you do what you do but yeah so I, I, I split it into two so so points all around points all Fair around enough. we know what we're doing we do okay this one i don't know if it would be a point it's more just a question that i had mm -hmm. um, yeah each of you we'll we'll start with paulie first this time paul if Jamie had a superpower, what would it be? And Jamie, you could think of yours too, because I'm gonna ask you. Oh, I don't even know, dude. Uh, I was gonna say, no, I'm gonna wait for Paul. I'm gonna wait for Paul, because me and uh, Jimmy Kent were talking about it earlier backstage uh, of the show. I know what mine is. Do you really? You know I don't know what your yours is either. I don't know what you would think your power would be. No, I know what my power would be if I got the pick. Wow. I think I, I'm pretty sure he's going to guess mine. Really? His, his is tough. See, this is a complex question. I can't even front because real talk, like, as much as I love superheroes, I've never wanted to... Like, well, no, everybody wants to, but like, if I had to pick, I would never like know what to pick. There's so many cool things to fly, to be invisible, to fucking faster than a speeding bullet. Fucking, you gotta think so outside the box, things. Jamie. So many cool things to possess them all would make you a, a god. <laughs> no, all of the stones. No, um, okay, I, this is a shitty one. I think I just flurbed on this one because I got nervous, but I'm gonna go ahead and kick it. Where is it? I had that. Teleport would be. Would be Mono's power. Sorry, I got a is it really? You think so? Did I guess yours? Teleporting. If I had a power, it would be, uh -huh. be invisible. Damn, invisibility. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's a so dope he, ass one. So he can no, jack like, it anywhere he wants. I love it. 
I love it because because it's super duper useful. But at the same time, the only reason I said teleport is because and I said that was a phoned in answer. The reason is, is because since we have been touring, we've always joked about how how long of a time lapse before um, they would invent real deal Star Trek teleporters. Yeah. And you, there would be no need for a tour bus because you and your band and your crew would just teleport from your home to the venue, gig up, paint up, ready, do the show, then teleport home. And you would it like, and we were just like, that's insane. That fucking, that, that's a, that's a high, these are high on conversations, ladies these and are, gentlemen. Don't judge our standard. My, my power that I gave. <laughs> but nevertheless, we always wondered that. That, that would have been a great idea. It still, <laughs> still holds up. My uh, power that I gave who knows Paul about teleportation would have been would have been the same as both of y'all for invisibility and teleportation. He, wow. he, you know, the chain smoker. He would he would smoke and he could turn into smoke. So he would thus be invisible and kind wow. of be able to teleport. You could just go wherever you want. Well, here's a great question: If if he was invisible and smoking, clearly according to to to. What we know, you'd see the doobie floating, but when he hit it, could we see it, the smoke inside of him? I would say no, because we couldn't see his organs inside of him because he's all invisible. But we would see him exhale the smoke. It depends on how cheesy you want the movie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just that's saying. I mean, that's really right. deep, but I mean, that's fucking insane. Like, like all of a sudden, you're just standing there, and smoke blows out and clear out of nowhere, and you're like, whoa. Yeah, he'd be like, what do he just appear? Nope. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, so very so, cool. All right, monoxide. What would Jamie Madrox's power be? I'm gonna. I don't know. I think the power of flight, maybe the ability flight? to fly. Flight would be kind of dope. I, flight's yeah, dope. flight's dope. That would be dope. There. Hey, I, that'd be dope. I, I, I could, I could see that. I think like uh, having yeah, having have dreams as a kid. When you like, I don't know if everybody's had that dream. <laughs> that might be one of those uh, those those psychokinesis things or whatever or whatever you call it. One of the the long leather armchair deals. But I think everybody's had this dream where you're sleeping and you start running and you start picking up a little bit. Of, you get off the ground and you can go back down. And you keep running, and the faster you run, the more elevated you get. Anybody had that dream? I don't think I. Have. God damn it! Somebody in the comments has had that dream. <laughs> I'll look to the comments. But 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 that's that would be the reason why I would want to fly because that reoccurring dream that like like yeah. to actually to like to get off the ground and like stay off the ground for a minute and be like you know because I'm sure learning to fly can't be easy you have to master the craft you just don't fly all easy style. Well, they said flying's mm -hmm. easy, landing's the tough part. <laughs> I'm just, you can ask Peter Petrelli and the rest of the guys and heroes that learned how to, to master all the talents and it's it <laughs> takes some time, man. It takes some. Mother loving time. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough Astral one. projecting, maybe. Ast Ooh, that's, that's good another one. good one. That's I good thought one. when I was talking with Jimmy Cant before backstage, I was like, I think Jamie's power would be whatever he draws actually comes to life. That's actually a cool one. That's a, that's a cool. That's that would a be a great one. ass power for a. Uh, yeah, right? It's almost like that. It's almost like that episode of SpongeBob with Mihoy Minoy when he drew. <laughs> and they had the magical pencil. And the, oh God, that's yes. great! But it's good. It's a, whatever you draw comes to life. That that could be a a, a good and a bad thing. That's a good yeah. one. I like that. I like that. If you're mad, you're drawing this evil stuff. When you're, you're just drawing like stuff. the monster to take over the town, and here comes the I am a racer man. <laughs> right. Yes. You just come to squiggle your whole fun out, dog. So you can't have no fun. <laughs> he was like, "I'm coming to erase all that shit." Mm -hmm. Yuck. That would be your mortal enemy, would be a racer man. I would think so. I would think in that parallel universe, whatever Earth that would be, I would he would definitely it's, be it's my, my, my just nemesis. coming in with a racer hands. Definitely. And you're like, definitely ah. my opponent, my nemesis would be a racer man. Right. I like it. Oh my God. And oh, another sidebar, since I got both of you together, was listening to Luther Vandross yesterday in the, oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, that, that came on, right? <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and it's like, I guess after looking into a little bit, I guess the latter half of that song is, is, is based on a remake by Sam Cooke, which, okay. which, which was, which that song was, was later covered by Rod Stewart. So if and when, 
next time you're wow. it's 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 we're it's we're gonna have a party when the drums I think, come by in? Sam Cook. And yeah. I think I think if I think it's it's all right, everybody that's that. Well, it's all right. I don't know. It might be that or it's we're gonna it's called we're gonna have a party. So I don't know. Maybe it's all right, maybe we're gonna have a party one way or a fucking other. I want to hear that version, and then I want to hear the cover by Rod Stewart, just so I can say I've trifected it all. I just I think, and I had to give you guys that information because I thought about both of you equally yesterday when I heard the fucking song, and then sure enough, right after that, it was, uh, it was, uh, God damn it, the, oh man, I ain't even gonna say no more. That's all. I need. Yep, yep, and I got screenshots too. I'm gonna send them to y'all right after. If I knew how to do it now, I would do it now. But I don't want to shut the stream down. <laughs> yes, we'll talk it's good shit. Then. Good shit, right? I'm gonna talk mine. Then I'm gonna talk my streams. Then, damn. I gotta ask, how long does this uh, this mad season paint? How long does that take? A while, because it looks pretty intricate. I remember back, uh, Abomination's paint was was took uh, a good bit to do. Yeah, yeah a lot like that. A lot longer. Yeah, yeah. Definitely good. longer than just the regular shit. Because I suck at drawing, so just doing. <laughs> A fucking axe. So yeah, that's dope though. No, I look like dope as fuck though. Right word, yeah. I know what but you mean. It sucks because I feel like I feel like that's we should just go challenge. on stage now and do it. You know what I mean? Star or something, or just oh, right. look different. By the next time they see us on stage, we're gonna look different again, bro. I ain't worried. Oh, about I know. It. I'm just saying though, but I mean, it's like it feels right now. It just feels like so, so like perfect. It seems like we would just walk on stage and just start rocking. Good shit. Yeah. Good shit. Unfortunately, That's due to the corona, can't do that. COVID nineteen can't do it. COVID can't, yeah, do, can't it. do it. Not gonna happen. Yeah, Sorry that, about that takes that. That takes a minute. Mm. It's not so much, but yeah, that that axe is a motherfucker because I want it to look like an axe to go straight and then fatten it out. Especially, well, no, because it's like on the on your face. Eye. Your face is a fucking is not a smooth surface, so you're already drawing right. on something that's not flat, you know. And you're in a mirror too, so it's backwards. Right. That's like what I that, said earlier. I was like, go around the eye. Uh huh. Man. But what was weird is 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 I walked myself into a Twilight Zone episode earlier. I was like, because I was trying to recall how it looked, so I was looking at a picture, and I'm like, the very first time I did it was was for uh, the the photo cover, the cover. Right. And then the second time I did it, I used the pictures of the cover to paint. And I'm like, I'm wondering if I'm painting it backwards, like looking at oh, the reference yeah, picture right. and then painting it backwards in real time for the video. <laughs> right. And then and then did it again to this time. So so it's like each time it's like, who fucking knows? But it's fun. And, and I think it gets more comfortable when you do it. The more you do it, it's more comfortable. Because when we were doing Abomination Paint and on a roll with it for a while, like when we did that two, I want to say two legs of a tour. Right. Uh, three legs. Yeah. Three leg tour. Three legs. So so it's like we got we got accustomed to it real quick. And there were some nights where it was like legit spot on, but there were there were different incarnations of the paint as we went. And to me, that's what makes it fresh because it was but an ever evolving. You know what I mean? Because there's no stencils, there's no none of that shit. Me and him right. are freehanding in every night. So it's like it was just cool to see when you see like um, people's photos from the from the actual tours and shit like that. You compare them, and you're like, "Damn, it was so the same yet completely different." And it's just yeah. cool. It was always good. Good, good. shit makes I, for good photos. I think, uh, I think we have a lot to do with the reason people don't paint up anymore because the schemes did get a little complex. People are like, Man, "Fuck <laughs> you!" It just turns into a gray mess for most. Like, right. Uh, Jeez. No, and that's the thing, Every though. But again, you see some people who got some some pencil skills come to the shows, but oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. There was uh, a there was somebody who was like uh, with a fam uh, fam appreciation month or something like that. That was like uh, either won a contest or was featured in the story, and like legitimately, I, I had to take a second. Like I stopped and I was like, I don't remember taking that picture, and I'm like, oh shit, that's not me. And it was just a dog. It was just yeah. some juggalo. And he just, man, he nailed it spot he on. And I'm like, I see why he got posted in the storyline. It was like, holy fuck. So, so yeah, you're absolutely right. They're out there. They're out there. Yeah. It's just that it just, it's like most people don't have patience. You know what I mean? You know, as well as I do with anything, yeah. whether it be writing a song or fucking drawing or whatever, you know what I mean? It's like, you have to have patience. It's not just all going to just blah right out at the minute. Man. Mm -hmm. 
it's weird because like I ask people a lot of times, like, because you and me write, you know what I mean? I draw, Fritz produces, you know, everybody's got their different thing that they do. But I ask them a lot of times, like a lot of people, the same shit, like, do you ever like, like walk away? Like sometimes I'll be like writing a song or, or drawing something and it's not going the way that I want, or it's not happening fast enough or whatever the case may be. And like, I'll legit walk away, go do something. You know what I mean? Like go make a yeah. sandwich, make a drink, fucking whatever, go cut the fuck yeah, along, do whatever. You know what I mean? And then it's like, and then come back to it with a, with a fresh pair of eyes or a fresh pair of ears or, or just a clean plate and be like, okay, attack it again and see if what you had done thus far still holds up in your mind or do you just go right back to the drawing board? And it's like, I think that happens with me a lot with a lot of shit. I just, mm -hmm. I'm saying, what about y'all? Yeah, yeah. For I mean, sure. It depends. But I'm not afraid to to hit that trash button on that See, iPad. Yeah. And it's right, gone for forever, sure. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm not feeling it, and I've been on it for two hours, three hours, and I'm just like, ah, fuck it. Right to the for trash. For sure. No, I, I hear know. that. Sometimes it's like, well, that's because I'll be like, oh, one of them rhymes was really good, but I didn't like the other three. Like, oh, and yeah. I can't remember it. But for the most part, it works. Just well, that's like dope that. because because I know we both get asked that a lot of time by like, you know, aspiring artists and musicians about, you know, stuff like like what's your songwriting process like or or how the fuck do y'all just come up with these tunes? And it's like it's never like some people's perception of it is legitimately like we just go in there and just start saying the music. It's like it's it's a methodic process really of, of of yeah. trial and error of, of like, we'll write pieces and parts of stuff and, and kick it back and forth to each other before we like it or take it away. It's like, it's different with everything. So if y'all out there right now and you're watching, that's, that's part of how we do our process. Maybe, maybe you should apply that to your shit. And then maybe, uh, I mean, if you're aspiring, I mean, if you already got your routine down, then fuck what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, some shit. Oh, I wrote for fucking 10 days, two weeks. Word up, yeah, for real, for real, dog. Seriously, I, think I like remember you on Abominations tour. I want to say it was Anthem or something. Mm -hmm. it, it, I remember hearing yeah. that. Mm -hmm. like, shit, yeah. that, that might have been the whole tour every night, yeah. just writing that motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's like when you have when you have expectations. That was for Paul, right? You're talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's I remember no hearing breaks. him in the back room. Yeah, listening to it. Is it's it no like, breaks? It was no it's break. like uh, yeah. that's what it was. Like that that's what it was. No break. That. Yep. No, but as I say, it's like, it, but it just goes to show you that you know, a, a for for a number a the integrity, uh, letter B, um, um, like like the the when you have when you have an expectation in your mind of of how you foresee whatever it is you're creating. Mm -hmm. you, I think I think as an artist, I know I do. I, I, I know I know Monoxide does, but I don't want to speak for him. But I know we hold ourselves to a certain like level of uh, what is it? Yeah. What am I trying to say? You know what I'll I mean? Be like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, be, or, or more importantly, being like, that ain't it. Or, or you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. close, but that ain't it. And we're both like, yeah, it's like we, we have this certain regard for what we do or, or how we put out things, whether whatever it is we do. So, like. I think that's part of the process. So for for you know what I mean, motherfuckers like that. Don't don't, don't feel, shit. don't feel don't, don't feel bad no because you're not minutes. just. Yeah, no, I was gonna say for aspiring writers and, and shit out there, whether you write rhymes or poetry or whatever the fuck you write, don't be mad that you just don't sit down and fill a notebook in like two hours. Don't be mad because this is coming from people like like me and Paul and and others that we know that are, that are like there's there's a there's a process to it and good things don't just come overnight. So, thanks. Yeah, hopefully takes. that helps y'all. Would nobody ask that specifically here? But it's a it's a reoccurring question that most times That's like knowledge. in a no, it's like most times in a fucking timeline, whether it be like a Twitter or Instagram or something. I blow past it because it is such a long winded answer that you I ain't typing that out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm not typing right, all that out. I hear that. Yeah. So, so like if y'all happen to be watching it right now, I just figured I'd throw it in. So, do you have more questions, or do you have you have comments, or what do you have? I mean, there is comments. They're they're flying. Um, y'all still doing actors and action figures? Um, Wait, say it again. It says y'all still doing ashtrays and action figures. Uh, what else do we got? 
it's a lot of people talking back and forth to each other, not direct comments. Well, right. Cool. They don't need us. Uh, cool. Salute yeah, from the Netherlands. There we go. I'll shout that out from the Netherlands watching. Uh, Eric Manning's in the house. That's um, dope. Uh, what else? Someone just said boondocks with a question mark. He's not here. He's not. No. Here. No. That's Jamie. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yes. Do you guys ever watch wrestling? Um, yeah, it's man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so um, I do have some more questions. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot my wasted Thursday. Are you? Probably, yeah. If oh, you no can, shit. Do yours up there tomorrow when you go. Okay. If yeah, you hell if yeah. You don't. Don't you know? But yeah, if you can't do it tomorrow, I'll do mine Thursday. And what is this you're speaking of? We can a new that. video. A new video, and I heard wasted is what yeah. I heard. Mm -hmm. and then, so you got six emails for me, correct? I did. I've been looking through them last night. It's some good shit. All right. No, I can't believe I've been emailing your old email probably for fucking two years, dude. That's so <laughs> fucking crazy, dude. That's so I crazy. George, I was like. I sent Jamie like six songs. I really haven't heard anything. And he starts laughing. He was like, he just told me that you're supposed to send him some something. And he didn't. I'm just get like, it. I, nah, I was and just he like, asked dude. Me what email? And I was like, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, he just laughed. He was like, that ain't a secret. That's the old That's email. That's so crazy. Wow. No, we, yeah, we were fucking, we were, we were, uh, yeah, no, I, I started looking at him and it was crazy. Yeah, he, he said something about it. Uh, wait, what is it? Oh my god! I hate that when we're doing when I'm doing live shit and and text messages drop in. I am yeah. not that tech savvy. I need like a uh uh yeah. I need a text I got two message. updates from Mercari about a set of step brothers. If anybody's looking, Funko Pops. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah! Holy shit! That's fucking dope. So what? So so your 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 comments are are basically filled with people talking to each other. Yeah, I, I mean, I can read each one off, but it's, will you ever come to Australia? Uh, I can answer that one for you. Jamie uh, might. <laughs> come down to Mississippi. You said Jamie might. Jamie might. We'll do Jamie <laughs> Madrax over there. He'll do, uh, that'll be an exclusive over there. Uh, well, you, guys, you guys get the Fatso album from front to back. Where's uh, where's Biloxi at? Mississippi. Right. Biloxi, right. Mississippi. Cap People don't know that's one of our favorite cities, but we never get to perform. That casino is there. Hmm. With that, that oh, that's is that where we performed before? That Beau Rivage. Beau Rivage. Yeah, Beau Rivage. Oh, yeah, Fifty dollar uh, buffet. Fucking super yeah. delicious snacks and shit. We had oh, Thanksgiving yeah. there the one year, and all the uh, crew guys got sick from eating the rock lobster or something. When are we getting? So hold on, yes, indeed. Hold on, I know. Wait, see. that was that was in Reno. What? For some reason, oh, I can see I can see comments now. Tyler Smith wants to know yeah, when are we getting some up twisted Funko no. Pops. That's dope. I can see it now, so I'll comment on it. Tyler Smith wants to know when we're getting some Funko Pops. We've talked with Funko uh, several times, so to, so to say we have a bad relationship, I would say that's a no. To say we have a good relationship, I would say that's a maybe. But we have a relationship. We know who they are. They know who we are. We've talked. We just can't get on the same page. So are we going to do them now? No. Will they do them someday? Fingers yeah. and toes crossed. Right. Fingers and toes. That's a well, that's Fingers good. and toes. But Seriously, no, no. Paul. So we're going to bring up. We're just going to do ours. We Listen, Paul and I, everybody, everybody who knows us knows that Paul and I love Funko Pops and that we would probably shit our pants if we got Funko Pops or, or you know what I mean? Or if they license the characters or however you say that, you know what I mean? So that goes without saying to, to ask, would we, what, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, that would be awesome. That, that would be. be There's a few people asking, uh, are you guys, do you guys have any plans of doing any, uh, virtual concerts? They're in the we talks. Have super, we have a, we have a huge meeting. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, something fucking immense. So we'll for see. sure. But if we can't do it right, we wouldn't do it. We won't waste your time. Just know that whatever it is that we do. 
I guess that's a question back to you guys, though, before we have any talks. Would y'all would y'all be down with a virtual co uh, concert? Would y'all would y'all be down with that? Is that something that that the family would embrace or is that something that you would dissect on somebody's, you know, talk show where you're going to, you know, go twisted things? We won't go to virtual cons like I didn't say that. I want to know, will you? Because I, I do. I want to know. There's a few there's a few that I'm excited for that I've been hearing about through the grapevines and, and I'm going to participate and see what happens and see how they go. Because, uh, yeah, man. So so that. Yeah, it's an interesting concept, to say the least, especially with the way everything is in these yeah. trying times. Right. These trying times. Trying <laughs> times. I, I feel you, though. I'd imagine if you do it, you got to do it right. You don't want to do it. Absolutely. Be standing well, no, there with the cell phone and the gimbal like, here we go. Live well, character. no, that 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 goes <laughs> back to what to be right. You know, right. want it to look good. For you sure. Just no. Waste people's time. That goes back to what we were saying earlier about the, the I guess it's integrity and in what we do. So, you know, that goes with everything. It's not just going to be with a song or or whatever. It's going to be with. Yeah. with Tell yeah, you what, like, that you might know, be the only way you'd get a you'd get a twisted concert in Australia, though. No, you get that virtual. I mean, one. but you would, though. That's that's your way. That's the way the cover and the, the basis, because at the same time, <laughs> you know. It comes through. It comes through the pipeline. I mean, it's not going to be. It will be for everybody. You know what I mean? Right. No, that's what I'm saying. Anybody. Those right? are, totally. You could have the. You could have fans in China. We're like, but much like, but much like fans um, from Russia. No, but but but, and that's true. I like do have fans there. Boy, it's just that very good, you know. We have fans the there. Russia? It's just not enough fans there in which to travel there to go and do stuff there but this again that whole entire idea and concept of us being able to do something like that and and be able to do it on a pay-per-view type of deal or whatever uh beam it to everybody i think that's a great concept i think it's cool it's just like when we did astronomicon it's the same thing it's like not something that you just say hey let's do and we do it it's something that you have to figure out how it works you have to to build one yourself you know what i mean so so there's some there's some things that's why he says meetings because you know we finna talk about stuff. Dirk Manning would like to know what's up with uh, Venomous 5. Dirk. Dirk Manning would like to know what's up with Venomous 5. It is a band of mm -hmm. five insane ninjas that wow. were bit by Venomous Pythons once upon a childhood and have all band together to celebrate that is uh, wicked music. We wicked were kidnapped music. by the Yakuza as infants yeah, placed inside of a death pen of python a small silken bag filled with the rattlers of other dead snakes rattlers. emerging as adolescents and worshipped as gods see that yeah. my friend mr manning that is venomous five he was all squint what you need I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, trying to read it. I'm trying to read it uh it says man you better uh, get on now Get him some contacts. Other than touring, has m and &E been affected by COVID? Yeah, Everybody's been affected by COVID. There's not a person on this globe that I know of that hasn't been affected by COVID in some way, shape, or form. It's just how, how deeply it affects you. How deeply you let it affect you. Yeah. Well, that's true, too. But 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 that's saying, I mean, it's like, because, no, but it's like, it, it's it's affected everybody in, in, in all types of ways. Well, it's Absolutely. a fuck, it's fucked with our... It's fucked with our economy. It's fucked with some of our freedoms. It's fucked with some of our liberties. It's it's fucked with a lot of things. Working like we can't shoot videos the way we want. We there's a lot of stuff we can't do because it has to be done a certain way. It's true. We can't just do ashtrays and action figures because we have to. We're together for that. We got to be up there. We could do a version of it, but yeah. But it won't that. have. But but and this is things that we've talked about. But if we did a version of ashtrays and action figures. It wouldn't have the music. We wouldn't be able to take calls. Sure, we'd right. be able to read comments, uh, you know, right. in some sort of a feed. But it's not the same as when you can hear a person or when you can have that type of, you know, correspondence with, with you know, like y'all kick it back and forth. It, it makes it different than just reading a cold ass text, you know, absolutely or whatever. And plus, plus, let let it go on record that you could read something wrong. <laughs> I'd rather it come from their mouth because how it's emoted or how it's said out loud can be the complete difference of of, of even two words. Absolutely. <laughs> fuck you or fuck you or fuck you. You know what I mean? It's like, right. well, those are different. Those are different words. Shout out from New York City. Huh? 
a shout out from New York City. They said, "What up?" Oh, bang, bang, bang. Yes. Um, what up, y'all? Uh, also, Poland. Damn, that- Poland in the high. Poland in the high ski. Getting a lot of love on Mad Season on here. Um, Thank y'all. Yeah, that record's a shit, man. Good job. It is. It's dope. It's good, man. We yeah, getting better, man. Paul. Oh yeah. These motherfuckers don't know, dog. They better know, dog. Do you believe in extraterrestrials? Yep. <laughs> yep. He said it loud. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hell yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> it just I do, too. Out. Like, I'm terrified of them. But yeah, fuck yeah, I do. Says shadow Trump. people, yeah. all that shit. That shit is real. Shadow people. What's a shadow? Shadow people. Huh? What's a shadow people? There's there's an investigation there there is a there is a documentary called I want to say it's called Night Terrors. Should you would you could you let this documentary into your world? It could have an effect on you. It's basically about sleep paralysis and some of I'm, the concepts. I'm good. <laughs> he said I'm good. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I, just, I was gonna say uh, sleep paralysis and some of the concepts that people who experience it believe that it, that happens when when they're having these. Like basically, your body locks up in the middle of the night, and things just happen. And and oh my god, you know what I mean? It's like it's it's absolutely terrifying. And they talk about shadow people that just come around and watch you when you're asleep, and like study you. And it's 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 fucking peculiar and absolutely insane. Peculiar. Wow. It's these are the things that that make up my day. You guys, you guys see <laughs> that, that uh, by the uh, comment right there from people. Robbie uh, Pankow? Pankow? I don't yes. know how to say that. Favorite tracks on Mad Season? I feel mm. Yeah, really? I know you I know you said you Man. liked that one a lot. Yeah. That chorus, dude. He fucking nailed it. He did. He did. He, he brought did. that song um, together perfectly. Like, I won't I, pick. I listen I, to that nonstop. For sure. No, I, I, I won't pick just yet. I'm still sitting with it. Like, it, it's a lot. Like, I just listened to it like it's one big, long track. Because you know what I mean, so it's like I won't pick just yet. I, there's too many. There's too many things that I like about each one of the songs at, at, at my current time right now. Because he said, "Pick your favorite track." That's who that that dude that was on there. His comment, his his little his little comment and shit was pick is, y'all's track. Right. <laughs> Why his comment gotta be little? His little comment and that uh said about a track. Take a little comment. Take a little comment. comment. Take a little comment and uh. <laughs> yes. Far, sorry. So I think my phone's gonna die in five percent. Oh okay. shit! Well, then All we right. can wrap it up. Well, wrap it up. Give, you, know, give, give, you got one more or no? You do or you don't? Uh, I mean, did, uh, did Carol Baskin kill her husband? Uh, who was that? The first one I saw. That's the appropriate thing I thought would come from Jamie. Did okay. Carol Baskin. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I would if I, I was her. I believe so. Are you talking about like the heiress to Baskin Robbins or something? Yes. No, man. It's he said crazy yes. shit. It's a bunch of Trump supporters. Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> real, real I'm real lost. Crazy. Like I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who any of those people are. Yes. Good for you, man. I, I've been watching. I've been watching documentaries. Uh, did uh, Kurt and Courtney speculation of whether or not Courtney Love killed Kurt Cobain? It's well, this bitch definitely. It's it. scary, dude. She learned. She learned how to imitate his handwriting. There's a lot of questionable things. You know, it's funny. interesting. It's a watch. Everybody's over here loving Tiger, dude, and I'm over here fucking living like it's you know, uh, grunge I mean, central. And I'm trying to find out whether or not uh, Courtney killed Kurt. I went yeah. back. I, I started watching Sopranos, so. That's, Dude, that's a good that one again. to start again. That's not a half yeah. bad idea. Yeah, it was on there. I'm like, man, let's start it up. It's good too. Have you, good. Have you right watched on. Ozark yet? Ozark? No, no, uh-uh. I haven't. Fucking watch Ozark. Yeah, Still killing it. Yeah, that's a back side seal of approval right there. He's been Absolutely. he's been saying it. He's been hollering on yeah. it, telling people check it yeah. out. Yeah, I'll uh, check I it got out. man. I'm All like, right, yeah. Well, hey, well, thank y'all for your time. Thank y'all for watching this. Uh. Monoxide, yeah. thank you, man. And thank you for that interview this morning. You cool for that. I appreciate you. Yeah, I don't know. They wasn't down with StreamYard. We are. Shout out, StreamYard. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, uh, everybody in the chat, everybody watching. Everybody in the chat, everybody watching. Thank y'all for watching. Jimmy hanging thank out for, backstage. Uh, thank See you to Dustin. Thank you to Dustin for hooking this shit up. Appreciate thank you. Me, and uh, wash all motherfucking hands, man. And, uh, and stay in your houses. <laughs> right. Keep them clean. God damn it. <laughs>